What's going on everybody? Chris here at Wrap Shop Garage. Here's what we got going on today. It is Friday. We have a trailer to do spot graphics on. So this trailer, we're not doing a wrap, large scale spot graphics. Here's what it's gonna look like. And uh, I took a little bit of your advice for this video. I'm showing a little bit more of the process. Uh, you'll see the, a little bit of the design work, the printing, the cutting, just little snippets here and there and uh, some of the prep work to get this thing ready to go. For this one, we are going to pull out the screws where the graphics fall and then put the screws back in. It's a brand new trailer. You get a nicer job when you do that. And so some of the older trailers, we will we'll go right over the screws, just if they're rusty, corroded, garbage around them, uh, we'll get them cleaned up and just go right over them. But this trailer being brand new, and that also is why we're doing spot graphics on this versus a full wrap. The, the white finish is obviously perfect. So to use the white as the background is perfectly acceptable on this and there's no reason to wrap over it. So come along for the ride today. We'll get this thing done. This shouldn't take too long. This is probably a three hour job for the actual putting the graphics on. So not too bad and uh, enjoy the video. Thank you. Here we're gonna jump on into Flexi Sign. I've already sent the customer the design on the left but they decided they wanted to remove the balloons as that's not a service they offer and wanted to lighten up the blue to match their logo a little bit closer. I did use a little bit brighter blue than what's in their logo because you really want it to pop on this trailer. So here I'm just getting the blue changed over and I'm also gonna give them a, a couple other options to choose from, just something else to look at. Here I'm just flipping some of the colors around and again, this isn't necessarily something that I like. I just want to give them other options. I am running this at 500%, so I'm not this quick, but I am pretty quick on the computer. I did kind of like the blue fade on the background behind the Tent Events logo, but the yellow makes it pop a lot nicer. And then just as something completely different, I threw a bright green. And I wasn't necessarily a fan of that, I still prefer the yellow. Ultimately, they liked the top right version and uh, I just made a couple more changes on it and that is the one that we went with. Here's a short clip of one of the prints rolling off of the JV150 Mamaki printer. And here's Dan weeding the excess material. There's any, no, that's a solid piece, right? Yeah. yeah. Solid You're not gonna mask the dome part, are you? I was thinking about it. You're not wanting to? I don't think we need to. Okay. I don't know. The party, probably, but not the dome part. I masked the other stuff. Did you? Yeah. But I wasn't sure, so I figured mask was always the best option, especially when you're dealing with straight lines. Uh, here, Dan's going to get this piece loaded up into the cutter. He's just getting it flush right now, so these crop marks are straight across. Pressure. 
Now the machine's gonna check the size of the sheet. Then we need to position it on the first crop mark so the machine knows where to start. And then it'll go sense all four crop marks. Three of the four. And there's four of the four. So now it can position itself. Look at today you guys get to meet a customer. This guy owns this trailer. <laughs> so we got going. We're gonna be going on this thing. I was in town. I and you're gonna be a YouTube star. I had to go and uh install You can come in. Hmm? You can come in. Are you sure? Okay, gonna get going on getting this tacked up in place. Just gonna get everything positioned. This is all wiped down already. Right, you did wipe yeah, this all down already? Down. Sorry, I thought you were over there. I'm like, this is all wiped down already? <laughs> Silence. I hope I took accurate measurements. I don't remember the rentals being that close to the back. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is only an inch from the back. I'm not sure height-wise exactly where we're gonna be, and I'm not doing this black line either that's on here. Okay. So. You want to overlap? Well, it's gonna be. Oh yeah. About so. I should probably cut that. That's yeah. What I want to do. I wanted to trim. Okay. That. You want to go trim that? Yeah. Basically, all I'm doing right now is getting the panels off the table, and we'll get everything lined up. And then we'll start in the back. You always start in the back, work forward so that your seams overlap front to back. So if you if something happens, if a seam starts lifting, it doesn't get caught by the wind and tear it off. So anything that we do wrap-wise, graphics with overlaps, always start in the back. So why does some of the stuff have mask on it, which is the top layer, the transfer paper, and some of it does not? This piece has no cutouts. And what I mean by cutouts is, you can see we're along the top of the rentals, it's die cut to match the lettering. This is just a straightforward piece, half circle. So really don't need any mask on it because it is wrap material and we don't use mask on wrap material generally. Same thing with your overlaps. So we'll lay that piece, the second piece, so that your overlaps go down. You don't ever want to have a, an overlap sticking up. Yep. Let's just we just do a hinge here, get a yeah. little bit started there, and then work That'll this work. way. Yeah. So let's. Uh, I'll hinge it right here. We'll pull out these screws. We'll lay that, 
and then we'll, we'll pull out the screws. Here, I just gotta make sure that we stay lined up. Putting a little bit of pressure on it with my left hand, but not enough to really stretch it. I'm utilizing the paper as another hand to kind of keep it off the surface of the trailer. You don't want it to stick too quick on you. don't know how but I forgot a screw well I do know how so I'm thinking about the next 10 things I have to do after this which is the story of my life Trying to bring it back a little bit too because my alignment's a little bit off so it did stretch a little bit it is really hot and humid here today so as nice as it would be to have an air-conditioned shop i don't have an air-conditioned shop I've had people comment to me in the past about taking the screws out and then putting them back in. Then you can see the screws over the top of the wrap. And I'm like, well, yeah, but the wrap's not gonna peel or as it would if I went over the screws. So for right now, yeah, you're gonna see them. But it'd be better than having big pockets around it in five years. So there's no right way, no wrong way to do it. This is just my way. Which you'll learn, I just do a lot of stuff my way. That looks good. So I think I'm gonna hinge this right here. So I can take out all this, lay this down, take out all the screws going forward. Hi Hudson, what you doing? Are you ready to start laying graphics? Huh? You wanna do this? Or would you rather be a YouTuber? Why do you wanna be a YouTuber? The play button and a lot of money? Yep. What's your channel's name? Do you have a channel? Yes. What is it? 
Hudson's Clay Creations. What do you do on your channel? Clay, of course. What do you do with the clay? I make stuff out of it, you silly. There's my eight-year-old. What do you got to say for yourself? Guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel and his too. He's my dad. <laughs> there you have it. Advice from an eight-year-old. Okay, this piece I actually have to measure. Because um, this needs to be level. So 35 and a half. See how close, ooh, 35. Close. 35 and a half. Double check. Thirty-five and a half. I take out four of these. Where's my dish holder? Dish holder? Yeah. I think I'm going to take out these right away too. Side one, done. Here we go on side two. Uh, Dan got the back done already. So we got the back done. Just got to finish up this side and do a post heat. So I'm going to start getting this lined up and lay this down. So this is one of those instances where I wasn't paying attention when I did the layout. This, we're gonna lose so much of the text on the silver door frame, and I don't have enough to center it. If I center it, we're gonna lose half of the word chairs. So I'm going to go back in, reconfigure, and reprint this area and lay it out so it actually looks good. Because this, if I put this on, no matter if I move it forward, backwards, it's not gonna look good. So I'm gonna go back, relay it out, come back, print it, and uh, install it. Our revised piece to go on the door. This should work hopefully a little bit better. Um, it's not the same as what's on the other side, but it doesn't really matter. You can't see both sides at the same time anyways. I think I need to clean this up here. 
wasn't expecting to go that high. And we are going to have to cut the silicone, so I'm going to grab the ruler and start cutting it. I think just on the door here. On the door? Yeah. Trailer's all done, let's get her pulled out. Hmm? Yeah, it's full. Go I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Brakes have been back, yeah, we'll find out when I pull it away if there's a pool underneath it. The tilt cylinders, one of them. Battery must be getting low. That might be a residual too. Yeah. It doesn't look like it ripped that much. You wanna grab pictures for me? Yeah. Uh, wait till I pull it out and you can grab pictures. fine and there you have it tent events done out the door And that's a wrap on the tent events trailer. Now I gotta get this uh, truck
truck pulled out the excursion that we just finished stripping it was uh, last week so this thing came out really nice he's coming to pick that up also until next time